Storyteller? Yes, Dr. Dinosaur. Why is it winter? Uh, to make us appreciate summer. No, really. Why is it winter? Because when else will we catch a cold? <coughs> uh, Storyteller, you better read this book. Your anti winter bias is showing. <laughs> By way, red thing. Uh, I guess he's right. I'll answer the question, why is it winter? Followed by the tiny, tiny subtitle, why do we have seasons? For example, some of us, I'm not going to name names, but some of us prefer only summer. We're just that way. But we don't only get summer, do we? Words to know as we begin. Uh, ice crystals, that's water vapor that turns into ice. Hibernation, a time of deep, deep sleep. Uh, bears like to do that. Uh, certain people like to do that during the winter. Season, you know, spring, summer, winter, fall. Tilt, to tip to one side, like so. And the earth tilts as it goes around the sun. Now, why did we need to learn all these fancy terms? Well, I guess to understand what is winter. Brrr, bundle up. It is winter, the coldest time of the year. Winter is one of the four seasons. The other seasons are, oh, as I mentioned, spring, pretty, flower, summer, fun, warm outside, fall, leaves, winter, brrr, brrr. Why do those girls look so happy? <clears throat> but I digress. When is it winter in North America? Well, the earth goes around the sun. Maybe you've already heard about that. Once a year, the earth tilts as it goes around the sun. And winter in North America lasts around December 21st officially to about March 21st officially. Now, when the North Pole tilts away from the sun, it is winter in North America. Okay, so here we have the North Pole, right? And then this is in the summer, so we're kind of close. But then in the winter, we're all farther away. Notice how dark it is. Here's the Earth's path around the sun. When it is winter in North part of America, it is summer in the south part of Earth. How about that? It's winter up here when we're tilting, but which means the other part of the earth is summer. That's why so many birds fly south for the winter to get summer again. They know what they're doing. Why is winter weather cold? Excellent question. The north part of the earth tilts away from the sun in winter, the north part of the earth. So the sun's rays hit this part of earth at an angle. Rays on an angle are not as strong as rays that fall straight on Earth. So winter sunlight is not as strong as summer sunlight. Maybe you've noticed the Earth even looks different. The, the, the light looks colored differently. Now here, the sun's rays hit Earth on an angle. And these rays are not as strong. It is winter in the north part of Earth. See, so this is the angle. Here, the sun's rays hit the earth directly, straight on, and direct light is stronger than light at an angle, meaning it is summer. Now, why does winter weather bring snow and ice? Well, Earth gets fewer hours of sunlight in the winter. We kind of realize that when we see our sun setting earlier and earlier. Less sunlight makes the air, water, and land get colder. That makes sense because our big heating system, the sun, isn't around as much. When water is very cold, it freezes. In the winter, water in the clouds can freeze. That's right, water up in the clouds can freeze into tiny ice crystals. The ice crystals form snowflakes. Water on lakes and ponds may also freeze in the winter. And this is a photo of real snowflakes. They look like ornaments, don't they? Gosh, they're, they're so, they're so, uh, Pretty. Is it true that there's not a single snowflake that's like another snowflake, sorry, tell her? That is actually quite true. There is no snowflake on Earth like another one, like people. <laughs> and dinosaurs? Of course. <laughs> Let's see, what's next? What happens to plants in the winter? In the coldest parts of North America, trees and other plants may stop growing during the winter. They are resting. Their leaves may fall off like so, and plants live off of the food that they store deep, deep in their roots. Now, there are some trees that stay green all year, and they are called evergreen trees. And now, do you know why they're called evergreens? Because they are evergreen, forever green. What about animals? Where do they go in the winter? Excellent question. There are not many growing plants for animals to eat in the winter. So some animals go 
to warmer parts of the earth and fly away where there's plenty of food. For example, the millions of monarch butterflies, they fly to Mexico for the winter. Da -na 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 -na. They have a great old time. They have a lovely butterfly cantina. I mean, they have a blast. Birds, squirrels, and other animals may search for seeds left on plants. This, for example, is a bohemian wax-winged bird. How bohemian. What is hibernation? Well, bears and other animals spend much of the cold winter months curled up in dens, and they enter a deep sleep called hibernation. Now, here's a bear sitting outside its den. But look at this. Do you see what this is? Two, here's one face, here's another, two brown long-eared Bats! Bats! But they're hibernating, so we'll be quiet. Now, these animals live off of the fat that they've stored in their bodies. When they come out of their dens in the spring, however, they are very hungry. So, best not to be around when Mr. Bear wakes up, you know what I'm saying? What do people do in the winter? Well, if they're like me, they whine and catch colds. But not everybody's like me. <laughs> winter snow brings winter fun. Um, uh, I, I guess. If you live in a part of the country where it gets cold, you may go sledding or ice skating. You may build a snowman. Sometimes school is closed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we all know that's the best part of winter. Am I, am I right here, people? Am I right? Am I right? Yeah, you know it's true. Uh, let's see here. Oh, look at these guys are pulling. These guys are sort of slaying, sledding, sliding down a mountain. That seems to give people excitement. It just makes my butt really cold, though. Experiment. Ooh, a salty solution to icy streets. You will need two ice cubes, two bowls or cups, salt, a clock or a watch. So there we go. They get two ice cubes, two bowls or cups, the salt, and the clock or watch. You put one ice cube in each bowl, clink, clink, put some salt over an ice cube, nothing in the second ice cube. Check the ice cube every 10 minutes. Which ice cube melts the fastest? Can you guess why people put salt on the streets and sidewalks in the winter? Hey, this gives me an idea. Me too, me too, me too. I think that I could use this as my science experiment for my presentation in school. What do you think? Do you think, oh, do you think, storyteller, do you think that the teacher would like that? I think that your science teacher would be fascinated by that. <laughs> I have a science project. I have a science project. Excellent. I'm glad you got something out of it. This. Oh, and we have more. Oh, look at that. Just an index left and some learning more things. But what do you think? I like this thing a lot. This is actually very handy dandy. And now you know why it's winter. A lot, of, a lot of talking, a lot of pages is what I see to basically say you get to miss school on snow days. Well, I don't think that's exactly right. Well, he does have a point. Well, he does have a point. But, you know, not everybody has a, a very snowy winter. Oh, like in Mexico? Exactly. In Mexico, they don't, they, they just get a bunch of butterflies, but they don't get snow. La, 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 la. It sounds fun down there. Maybe we should go there for the winter. I'm going to look into that. Okay. All right, kid. See you next time. And <clears throat> don't, whatever you do, catch a cold. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the storyteller really does not like that. No, not at all. So uh, take lots of vitamin C, bundle up if it's wintry outside, and if it's not wintry outside, I'm going to come over. <laughs> See you next time, kid on. Hit it, Doug. Kid time. Story time. <laughs>